Hey guys, Eddie Masters here. Welcome to Threadbow for Australia's biggest bike festival, the Cannonball. I'm out of action, so we're going to take it to the pit to find out what uh, what makes this festival the littest bike festival in the world. Kids a dog has just named what we're calling these interviews, and it's welcome to Toeball TV. <laughs> so thanks for that. Uh, you know, what's going on with the beard? How long have you been growing that thing? Oh, a couple of weeks now. Just Only push, a couple of weeks. Just push it out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I need that on my head, eh? <laughs> Get it's getting sweaty. Yeah, look if you look in it, uh, you can oh, kind of see the future. She's just uh, chewing some tobacco. Really helps with the altitude up here. Oh man, no, it's really good. It's like everyone's complaining about the heat, and I was like, oh man, you have no idea. I've been living in a sauna for the last month. This is like what tends to have my aircon on. That's true, 24. Yeah, and uh, so how's the track? Is it uh, pretty beat up? Playing up like a uh, second-hand lawnmower. <laughs> you don't even talk to me about my lawnmower. <laughs> but uh, the track is sweet, and the fact that we had some rain last night meant that was prime this morning. And then we had rain in the middle of the day, so I think it's going to be sweet. It's a pretty yeah. fun track, super fast, and with a bit of rain, it'll be nice and grippy. The man, the myth, the legend, Nathan Rennie. Uh, are we calling it a comeback? Or? No, it's definitely not a comeback, no way. I mean, I'm down here just to hang out with the boys. I mean, um, we used to ride a junior assault squadron right back in 1999. And like, this is the first time we've had a reunion. It was almost 20 years ago. So coming down here, have some fun. Been trying to behave myself, you know, just trying yeah. to extinguish those reputations I've got. Oh, we've all got them, mate. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Enduro bike at a downhill race? Yeah. It's a long way from Sheffield to get out to Threadbow, and yeah. I couldn't be arsed travelling with two bikes. Oh, so you rode here on the trail bike? Yeah. yeah. Seat up. Didn't want to drag my downhill bike with me. How's the uh, how's the trip down under been? It's been awesome, yeah. I really yeah. enjoyed it. You've got some pretty warm memories on this side of the world. I have. I've got a lot of, a lot of drunk memories and uh, good racing <laughs> a memories. A few more to add from this week, too. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. yeah. Or lack of memories. Yeah, I've got a lot of mates in Oz and it's been, been a good trip. Yeah, must be good to catch up with Rennie again. We are talking to him before. Big time, yeah, Rennie. I don't know if he's going to do his race run or not, but he's a couple of riders in front of me. I wanted to try to catch him. <laughs> so another rider that we weren't expecting to see this weekend at Cannonball, Danny Hart, all the way over from Newcastle. How are you going, Danny? Yeah, well, pretty good, actually. Me and the missus, we were, we were a bit sick of the weather back in Newcastle, so we brought the motorhome out. We've parked it in the car park. And I'm really enjoying the riding here in Threadball. Oh, sweet. So, uh, how much how much longer are you going to be down under? Well, I'm actually thinking of moving out here. They've got really good motocross, and we really love the weather. I love getting on the beach and getting nice tan. So, oh, yes, yeah, sweet. <laughs> so, the upset of the day yesterday, Sam Fraser winning the uh, Whip Wars here at uh, Threadbow. You must be bloody stoked with that. I'm a bit pleased, yeah. Yeah, a bit pleased. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you were dressed up like uh, Steve Irwin as well, so I think uh, the crowd were really enjoying that. What do you think of this incoming storm that they're predicting? Oh, I just hope I'm down before it comes. <laughs> yeah, I think we all do. Sweet, cheers. What events have you been doing? You've done all of them? Just the gravity ones. Yeah. Yeah. Are there not some anti-gravity ones as well? <laughs> yeah, sweet. So how's the downhill track? Ah, uh, the downhill track's real rough. Yeah. Yeah. But it's Threadbow, so Threadbow's rough and you've got to expect that. Yeah, how many times do you reckon you've ridden here? About twice every year for maybe the last 10 years. Third run down on the first day, washed out and bent my thumb back and I got skier's thumb, so... Just feels a bit tender, so not riding this weekend. So, how many times have you been coming to Threadbow? Uh, probably every year for like the last 10 years at least, I reckon. So, we usually come once a, once a year and track's about the same as well the first year, so it doesn't take long to get used to it. Hopefully, it rains for everyone. I'd love to see a mudder when I'm not racing, like that'd be sweet. So, so do I. Yeah. I love them. Love a mudder that I'm not in. Yeah. Uh, what have you been up to in the off season, Aaron? Uh, I've been building my house. Uh, it's a huge house, it's got 49 bedrooms and a spa and uh yeah and then i've just been training training my butt off ready for the season coming in hot so that's how it can be done and this right here is how it should be done second year here and yeah it just seems to be growing every year and uh, yeah just need to keep coming for another 10 more years until I can uh, win the race. Yeah, yeah we're I mean, talking to Muddy, he reckons he's been here twice a year for 10 years straight. 
So you've got yeah. a bit of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work. You look like you're really struggling out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, the internet might not know who Booger is, but Booger is one of the uh, wildest men in Australia. Just uh, hanging out with the boys, doing things we can't speak about. Welcome to Two Two Tuesday. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah, that's it, we're done. <laughs> Brohan, mate, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, you have a good, good trip. Good day, mate. <laughs> yeah, good day, mate. Wow. Hey, buddy. Chuck another shrimp on the barbie. Yeah. <laughs> is this Win TV? No, nah, this is Tobal TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you've had a good trip down under? Yes. Yep. It was enjoying really shot. Oh. Pretty shot. When are you going home? Tomorrow morning. No. I will be back <laughs> next year for sure. Sweet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we see your dance moves. They are good. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> but there's a few angry mothers running around the pit saying that you've uh, handed out a few haircuts last night. Did I? <laughs> yeah. I looked, did you get one? No, I've got no hair. <laughs> oh, yes, look at that. He's done that before, right? <laughs> Just the model. Um. Yeah, so not not Ed TV. Nah, it this, is just, really this, is, well. this is just a uh, just a one-off. Oh, yeah, geez. we could call it like education or something. We did three rides in uh, Newcastle, Sydney, and Stromlo. I think Stromlo must have had like over 200 people rock yeah. up. I wish the race wasn't as serious as all these guys are taking it. Well, it's because guys like so, you turned up. <laughs> yeah. well, I was, You're not helping after yourself. My, after my haircut last night, I went home. I thought it would be a courtesy call to let my girlfriend know I've cut my hair. So <laughs> I gave her a little call, showed her a video, she was laughing. I said to her, I'm going to get in the shower, I'll call her back. And then I heard some ruckus next door, and Kent and all the lusty dudes were having a little party, and then they dragged me back to the pub for another drink. So uh, when I got home, I did another courtesy call, she was, well, that's a long shower. I was like, oh, sorry, I had to go back to the pub. Hey, so, some, of, some of the best sporting performances happen off the back of a sore head. Yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm I know. I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm yeah, hoping. yeah. Fingers crossed. Hey, good luck out there. Thanks, brother. Cheers, brother. A man in white is a confident man. He's confident. I just feel really good. Like, really, really good. <laughs> I could not feel any better right now. I said it before, mate. A uh, man in white is a confident <laughs> man. Um, I wasn't confident at all, to be honest. Though. Yeah. I was falling asleep at the top, but yeah. Not bad, not bad. Pleasantly surprised, some might say. I'm in more shock than more shocked than happy, I think. Oh, it's got to be kidding, yeah. Yeah, been, yeah but yeah, I've been coming here for ages, I always get hosed and I think that's the first time I've raced in the wet in a while, so yeah, yeah just rode my like I can always do and yeah, stay on two wheels. Well, I think everyone's pretty happy to see you up on top, so uh, congratulations. Cheers boy. You've when just been TV going to or uh, this is Toeball TV. Toeball TV? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toe hitch, toe ball. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say bittersweet, but it's uh, all of a sudden it's become a bit sweeter. <laughs> yeah, plot twist. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like, I had a good run and stuff and was struggling like in all the slick corners, but I, I don't know. Like, they said Dean won and now the timing's changed and apparently I've won, so... Hey, you Who knows? Take the good with the bad, eh? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get too excited Just about it in case it goes around again. Oh, so is that so three, three on the trot? That's uh, that's the fourth, I think. Yeah, since 15. So and crown the king and queen it's pretty nice. Yeah. Pretty nice to have a race in the, the wet for once in Australia as well. We don't get that, so that was exciting. <laughs> and how was the track? Dude, I thought, I thought it was going to be way better than that. It was actually like, the fire road was sick. You could just come in and hit that corner as fast as you want. And then every, everything in the woods was just like ice. Honestly, I saw so many tyre marks going up the, up the berms and everything. So, I don't know, I'm excited. So, oh, well, I look forward to watching you go for the five pack next year. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, are you going to race it or what? Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, come on. <laughs>